What's going on, guys? Welcome to Rabbit's Used Cars. You know, I've always been a sucker for a good scam story. Maybe it's the used car dealer in me. And there's one that's actually happened really close to here, Rock Hill, South Carolina. The thing that was crazy about it is, is how it knocked everybody on their ass when the crap hit the fan. And this guy was a wolf in sheep's clothing. But anyway, so a brief, and you can run it down. So there was a preacher, his name was Jim Baker. And Jim Baker had PTL, praise the Lord, or as we like to call it, pass the loot. And PTL was, was a big thing, you know. They did all the little telethons, and he had his wife that wore way too much makeup. You know, Jim and Tammy really need you, and you send your money. And, and these old people and, and people that believed. And, and, and there's nothing wrong with with faith and religion. I'm not getting into that. I'm talking about the scam itself, not that. But they use that as a tool to scam people out of money. And they sent them all this money. And they opened up a religious theme park in Rock Hill, South Carolina, which is right there on the North Carolina, South Carolina line. And this thing was huge. They actually had, like next to Disneyland, this was like one of the most visited theme parks in the world. And I mean, it had a big water park and it had rides and just all kinds of Bible related things. And if you paid X amount of dollars, you basically got a timeshare into this thing. And they were building this big tower that's still there to this day. You know, this big hotel that was all fancy and all this stuff. And they were just taking in all this money. Well, next thing you know, stuff starts leaking out. Jim's having an affair and he's messing around. And next thing you know, this lady comes out of nowhere saying, hey, I'm you know, Jim Baker's mistress and all this stuff. The next thing you know, they start noticing, like, they get some looking a little deeper. And they start looking at this big hotel they're building and all these timeshares they're selling. And they're selling way more timeshares than they could ever house in this hotel. But they just keep taking the money, keep taking the money. Well, where's all this money going? And, I mean, basically, it took in 10 times the amount to build the damn tower. And he was embezzling all this money, and, you know, and, of course, he ends up getting indicted, and it was all over the news. It was huge. You got to think about Jim Becker was a huge thing in the 80s, late 80s, early 90s. You know, Tammy Faye, they finally got divorced, and she went off doing talk shows and doing her own thing. She actually ended up marrying the guy that was like the contractor for everything out there at Heritage USA, the theme park. So Jim Becker goes to prison, you know, federal, and he's gone for a little while. And I just noticed Recently, like in the last couple of weeks, I was flipping through Google News or whatever. Jim Baker is preaching again online and on TV. And he's got a new wife. I mean, it's the same setup. Tammy's dead now, by the way. But same setup. You know, Jim clean cut, good little look going, got some Botox, got everything tucked in. Got a, got a hot little young wife and they're preaching the good word. And he got popped for selling the cure to COVID. If you donated a certain amount of dollars to his whatever, they would send you a vial of his snake oil and it cured COVID. You know, it, it, it tickles me and I've been involved in some shady dealings in my life and I like to think that I'm, I'm living pretty straight up now, but it still tickles me how history will tend to repeat itself. And you can use this in a lot of things in life right now. But you gotta be really careful with that wolf's and sheep's clothing mentality. You know, I told you about history repeating itself, but, and it's not just religion. I mean, I can name televangelists that I swear is probably crooked off the top of my head, about 20 right now. But not only that, you gotta be careful, these guys you listen to, these guys, you got to look past the shuck and jive. And you gotta understand, these guys are salesmen in religion or in you know selling you on a a school or a program or anything. They're selling you on that. The shuck and jive. That's what we call that here in the South. You get so wrapped up in all the the lights and the yeah and the little funny sayings and all the rhymes and you know and all that stuff and all the all the wordplay that you lose sight of what they're really doing. So basically, this is the word and visual version. This is the talking version of the shell game. Just moving it around, moving it around. The reason 
the moral of the story, Jim was a, was a funny one. I grew up in that. My grandmother donated to the damn thing. But the thing that was crazy is you see so many things in life. They're damn near replicating what he did. And people are falling for it. And, and it, it just, I just shake my head, you know, and I'm just like, when we were forget things, when we, you know, just because they knocked the theme park down and put a subdivision there now, it's not like it never existed. No, it existed. And this guy took millions of dollars from elderly people and things like that. And, and I mean, there's other, there's worse people and there's, there's other things. I'm not saying he didn't pay for a sense and he's back out doing it again. You know, people are like, oh my God, well, how about 15 years ago, look what the hell he did, you know? What do you expect? Um, and I'm not saying a person can't change, but do your homework. Don't get so wrapped up in the, in the, in the words and the, and the music and in the, yeah, and all this stuff. That's the thing. Like it tickles me. People send me stuff all the time, car dealers and, and ads and funny stuff. And I laugh. I mean, I enjoy it. I mean, I'm, I'm in this business, but you know, people all the time get so wrapped up in stuff, making deals with these people that they fall in love with the idea of it and not the actual product they're buying. And, 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 and it's more ways than one. I, I've noticed it a lot, even on YouTube. You got a lot of guys that are preaching their cause, not necessarily religious or anything, but just certain affiliations or certain whatever. When you forget about things and you forget about things that happened in the past and just put them away and act like they didn't happen, they tend to pop back up again. And the thing you gotta understand is, is they're selling you on that. So you gotta be smart, you know, you can't, you can't fall for the hype, I guess, is the moral of the story. Just a little food for thought. Guys, we'll catch you next time at Rabbit's Used Cars. See if you can cut this in somewhere. I think you can cut it in right there before I end it. But you gotta be really careful with that wolf's um, or getting, let me rephrase that. Their, their money is being took from them. They're not buying shit. But, and. Can you hear it? You can hear static. That'll sound like dog shit. <laughs>